To be fair, Seal that eye. no, just trying to get it in the hole. Bet me think, bet that eye with my finger. That's yeah. So what you're saying that second knuckle? Don't look. Now I'd be conscious of walking to hit that. No. Half and half. To the base that first knuckle then, yeah? Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So, I went, uh, one of the lads, we went, um, we, Um, and they've got simulators on. Yeah. And I, was, I think he nailed what it is. Well, obviously you've been telling me for ages, yeah. but I'm constantly throwing that. Yeah. Yeah. Over at it. Over at it, rather than just like, because on that third lesson we had, yeah. and it felt strange because I was swinging yeah. rather than trying to fucking hit at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just laying that, almost like that right side. Let it go. Stay very passive, so from the top, let the right side, so from there, the right side from there, doesn't hit at it. Yeah. Because the right side comes underneath, so you're just allowing it to sort of drop under. Yeah. So, you know, it hit it. So that's good. So, hopefully, you found a little nugget. Yeah. Fuck, well, it'll work today, will it? It will. So, tell me about ball position with the driver. So, Where ball position, go? normally, ball position is supposed to be on your left, just your left inside, leg. Yeah, just inside the left. But I find if I have it sort of like where everyone says to have it, yeah. I find it as, I could this will go onto the, onto the, Four uh, side. Yeah, bad. More yeah, more slice. Okay. Well, if I find it, just I'll just try and keep everything yeah. neutral. Or I do. Yeah, just yeah. it feels neutral to me. I mean, my question be... was more to it's more the case of where do you get it rather than what's right or wrong, you know. Yeah. It's all about results at the end of the day. Yeah. Sand driver is. That's even more my worry when the teeth sound hard. Get under it. Well, even on a good one, you get under it. In between that there. So your, your, your swing thought process is when you're sort of swinging into this board, is that you're delivering the club on this line, on the downstairs. Nearly, better. Still a bit left on the path. Another one. Yeah, can do, yeah. Just a little bit left of the path. Another tea? I've got one. I didn't use that last one. It's a mouse fire, could have just walked off from that, pal. Never give up on a good thing. <laughs> We're a song, like that. It was. Never give up on a good thing. Go, go, go. Delivery from the inside, so you can see your, your sort of your delivery path is out sort of to there. Yeah. So through that channel, through the blue tea. Okay, we'll go down and we'll we'll work off that. Was it? So we still got about a good two. Yeah, I mean for me it's more about sort of playing into into your zone really. I, I mean for me here I wouldn't be looking to sort of hit anything big. I'd be thinking about my next shot. So my next shot is very much about sort of playing into position really. So I, I'd probably just hit something like a seven or an eight iron, leave myself a full shot in the green because it's so narrow. You try yeah. and hit a big club out there and you end up in trouble. So I just hit like a seven. Seven iron, yeah, seven, six, eight, anything like. Again, that same sort of thing. So don't try and push it out to get it away. Just let it all just fold in nicely into you. 
That's it. So, so it's just round and through. Don't try and control the club. Just sort of swing free of thought. Just yeah. almost just let it go. So from there, it's just round and through. Just let it fall. Don't try and steer the club. So I'm still coming across it. Yeah. Feel as I'm dropping underneath. That's good. Swing one back and stop. Keep going. And from there, this has got to deliver itself under here. There you go. Keep the club on that sort of circle, really, if you imagine. Imagine an arm. Built from there, it's like, oh, wanna, snatching the eye. Just let, let the, trying to let the arms drop. Yeah. Drop under. I feel myself do. I'm doing. I'm trying to hit at it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And I'm using that right yeah, yeah. hand yeah. rather than that first lesson we had, yeah. where it's all about letting that. Let the left hand. We'll, look, we'll just keep hitting some irons down just to get the feeling on the. So. Just a time a bit more new. You're aiming a bit right side of the green there. So. You need to feel like your feet are aiming left edge of the green. So look at that. So everything's going more parallel. Yeah, that's good. So all I've got to try and visualise now is that path. Yeah. Because I'm coming through it. So don't try and take the club onto the ball. Let your, let your torso swing through it. Try and glide. Nearly. Look at the divot though. Have I come? Yeah. So I'm still doing that, in I? Yes, yeah, absolutely. I need to let go, go it. out. And the danger is that, that, that you know, because because you miss his right, yeah. as, a, as, a, as a person who misses right, trying to swing right doesn't sit well in our mind. Yeah, yeah. But the miss right is because I'm swinging left. Yeah. So we've almost got to, to get it going left, we've got to swing it to the right, double dutch, but, but in essence, I'm never going to get that ball from where we want to see it unless we get that path transition. So we've really got to try and visualise that it's going to come and under here, and then from there it will release, and it will just give it that way, that's it, that's it. Closer, closer, look, go on, stay there, I'll just grab this one. Like a racing snake, isn't ya? <laughs> right. Good, good. Feet aim towards the left hand and the... I feel like your feet are more left, that's it. Yeah. Good. Always feel more open, good. And then that club needs... Visualise, that's it. Just yeah, going to come there, down yeah. and it's just going to swing out. That's it, out. slide under the ball. Don't try and hit into the ball. Let the club glide through it. Don't okay. try and get it to the right. I'll try to whack that. You feel it, that snatch across. Yeah. That's that's me that I'm I'm actually like right, I'm just letting the fucking club just swing there you through. Go, that's I'm it. Snatching yeah. at it. Yeah. So just let the weight of the club do the work rather yeah. than you trying to so, squeeze out the light. Sorry mate. Yeah. Yeah. Being more open. So the more open you get, the more easy it is to, to swing out right. Yeah. The more, in essence, if I close my stance up, so close being as a right-handed golfer aiming more right. Yeah. My brain sort of sees myself. Well, I'm aiming over there. Yeah. Because I'm well, my target's here. As I come into it, I don't intentionally aim badly, but then I'm trying to then bring the club back online. Yeah. Which then instigates this whole problem in the long term. So yeah, yeah. by opening more up gives me the space from my left side to, to then be able to get through it. Whereas when I'm there, it's like, I'm yeah, stuck. Yeah. So actually the only space I've got is, is out here. So for me, as Daphne said, when, although a slice is generally in, in our case caused from going left to right with the club across the ball with the face open, by aiming more left, it gives me that room. So the more right I go, the more you're going to throw it into this room here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the only place I can get. I'm not, I'm, you're not naturally wanting to go into there. 
So the more I open up, the more I can then try and transition thinking, my brain is like, because now I'm aiming left, yeah. I need to swing right. Because now I'm aiming right, my brain's thinking I need to swing left. So in some cases, when you watch videos, to try and stop slicing, it'll say, sort of drop the right foot back. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that works for some, because <coughs> if the right foot's dropped back, it will encourage that sort of rotation and the hands to turn. But when you've got a player that wants to throw it with the right shoulder, and then that perception is I'm there, and that target's my target, and I look at my target and think, well, there's my target over here. For some golfers, that they'll react to that. So although they may have picked up a tip, anti-slice, aim right, if you like, or drop the right foot back, yeah. for some golfers, that has the opposite reaction to it, you see. So yeah, yeah. It's why there's no one size fits all, really, you know, and the danger of picking up the wrong tips. My mate did say to me the other day when he was at that place. Yeah. He said, because obviously he said, oh, try moving your foot back. Yeah. And by moving my foot back, I just yeah. whacked it and just go. Yeah, because all ceiling. you're doing is, because you're trying to get more aligned. Yeah. It's making it more steep. Because I'm trying to get the club on, on the ball. The more I come across it, the steeper naturally I get. Unless then I lean back. Yeah, yeah. Which then can lead to another negative. So that's, that's the danger if you're not picking the right. So for me, you know, your correct correction, if you like, yeah. is to actually aim more left and swing right, not aim right, to try and do anything else. So we've got to get your swing aiming almost really open to then get your feelings that you can swing it more out. A little choppy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So when I, I'll have a look at, so with me now with this, because yeah. I'd be here, what I would do is I'd open my, I'd open, go down the shaft a bit okay. and I'd open my feet a little bit like that okay. and then try and, yeah. and try and do it. Okay. That try rung. It. Yeah, try to do one first, do a couple of balls, one time. Still, I mean, we've got the shot away, but you can, there you can stand back of the divot, still left. Yeah, yeah. So I've got no issue with you standing in the open bit, but let's try oh, and... Oh, fuck, that's... Because <laughs> now you're that's standing the, open. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the open bit, yeah, yeah. So if we can now stand open, yeah. then deliver the club a bit more inside, we should see the flight, just to, that's why it's a bit low. Still add a bit of fade on it. Again, you know, golf's a game of results, but yeah. let's, let's, on this sort of short and swing, really exaggerate that feeling of trying to get into out for me. That's it. So on this one, don't worry about outcome because we've already got an outcome. Yeah. Let's use this as the practice one to try and really get that feeling of, of keeping that sort of almost working that in there. Oops, sorry. And, no, no, that's fine. And then, and then under, under this path there. That's it. Let's just make this one do that and see what happens to the result. Don't be afraid of the result. Yeah. No. Okay, still a bit of crossing. Right, so. so. Just let it just all be very relaxed and, and yeah. soft and just feel it. Let, just uh, don't try and move your arm, just go with your torso. So let, let, that's it. So let your arms right. follow your torso. So just hit me one here now where just keep just, your arms. So Keep feel your like your arms are connected and yeah. just, hit, just hit me one with your shoulders like your, your upper torso. Don't worry about where it goes, just, just feel that. So don't try and push away with the arm, just swing with the torso. Okay, and again, don't snatch at it. Yeah. Fine, and again, back swing is okay. Just, just to get that feeling of, of don't need to, because naturally I still want to go out yeah. and away. So for me, just try and exaggerate that feeling of, of disengage, there you go, and then through. Push through, no. that's it. Let that left shoulder pull through. So the left shoulder's always go to that top position. The left shoulder's gonna pull. Don't worry about it, mate. Pulls up. Ah. Because if that pulls up, this goes down, doesn't it? Yeah. If this goes, be, if, be, if, if this goes this way, this goes that way. Ah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little bit open. Just that wooden man thing again. Yeah, that's it. It's and nice then that, so that, that goes And then up. the left shoulder goes up, not, not round, not. if you like. That's it. You better strike. Yeah, yeah. No big drag left. That's a bit... the, the only way I can get this shoulder working on Give a look at that. Yeah, it's much squarer, isn't it? So that's just your hands working. 
So it's that feeling actually I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than, so, so I'm trying to turn this left shoulder back but because I've been so shut with my stance, this left shoulder's trying to get that way to bring it back online. Yeah, yeah. So I can't allow that right shoulder. The right shoulder won't go under unless the left shoulder goes up. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. in essence, I can't from there. And what you don't appreciate is when I swing it back, as I go away, as I'm rotating around that posture position, yeah. my right shoulder works higher. It does not tilt like that, but it's, it's working up. Yeah, yeah. So my chest stays open. And as I come into it, I've got to replace it with the right shoulder going down. But as my right shoulder goes down, my left shoulder goes up. Comes up. Not what I was doing. Rather than trying to turn. So if my and it's just trying, like we said, it's always just trying to find those magic words. Is it those magic moments that yeah, go yeah. up? Oh, that makes sense. Why did you say that all along? But yeah, it's yeah. like, well, we've tried, but it's trying to find words that go. I can resonate with that feeling. Yeah. I'm trying to turn onto the ball. But whilst doing so, that's why that's there. Whereas if actually I try not, I try and turn up the ball. Yeah. From there, I can sort of see that. Oh, okay. Well, I can. No, my right shoulder's going under because there's no way it can't go under. Yeah, yeah. If this shoulder's going up, because you can't get that up and that over. No, no. Not, you know, and that comes back to the, the first couple of where I was launched. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm, yeah. I'm trying to hit at it, there you go. and I'm just and that like. Right shoulder was in sort of. And right yeah. in that sort of position there. That trap was trying to work into that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cupping in. But actually now, now I'm in a better position. Yeah. I can then sort of go, okay, well, is my swing position from the top? Don't think too much about your right side. Is it is it from there? Is like get that left shoulder going up. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That makes so sense. is that my first move? So from the top, so up to the top. So I just Yeah. Well your first movement is pull the left shoulder up. That's it. Don't worry about trying to turn it that way. So from there, there you go. Let so it go up. There you go. It has to turn. You don't need to make that happen. Yeah, yeah. Biomechanics is, is making that. So let that left shoulder go up. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Make sure that shoulder goes up, yeah. not around. Yeah. Just All them little things, eh? Yeah, just finding that little nugget. Yeah. From the top, in, and then up with the left shoulder. Close, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? So once you get that feeling that the left shoulder's leading the downswing, not the right shoulder. Yeah. That was a flu, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no flu. So, okay, turn again. So. Just stand out. Make sure that shoulder goes up. Because if you think, if you were to stand there, yeah. like, you know, and, and put your hands together and sort of turn, turn through from there, your left shoulder goes that way. Yeah. Where we perceive rotation as being that. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, rotation is based on your postural position. Yeah. Turn is that movement. Yeah. Turn, turn. But what's happening is, is my right shoulder goes up, my left shoulder goes down, left shoulder goes up, right shoulder comes down. Yeah. So from there, I'm more like to stay in position. So it's that feeling as if I'm sort of going like that rather than. Yeah. Is that, you know. Not trying to. Right. Yeah. Okay, now. Pull that left shoulder Make sure up, that just goes up. The first movement down, so again to the right position, and the first movement is up with the left shoulder, and then your right will have to follow. There you go. Hey, get in, get in it. Get it. Yeah. Well yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid to get that quickly moving up. <laughs> So you practice. I know. I, still, I think I'm conscious now of that. Like that is going yeah. to be on the club at all. So that's going to be the main one. Yeah. Not doing that again. Yeah. yeah. And just, I don't know what it looks like yeah. watching, but it does feel like now I'm actually ramming Michelle into the sky. Yeah. So if you see some of the like, tall players in their gym sessions when they yeah. work on something, there's a lot of weight moving. They push, pull a lot of weight. So they use like cables. So if yeah, you, yeah. you know, obviously being an athlete, you do go to the gym three times a week. Five you, times a week to the pool. Five times a week. You just upped it then. <laughs> so, so it's that feeling that almost as if there was like a cable machine here. Yeah. And it's almost like I feel like I'm pulling. Yeah, yeah. It's that movement. You see, Deshaun Bow does a load of that feeling. You know, if you're watching sort of pulling weights, that, that movement there, you never see them working on no, that no. movement. And that's that's the over top movement. So it's that feeling. So from this position here, it, it's sort of up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm down, I'm in the ground, and then it's up. Yeah, 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 so it's yeah. Never, it's never down and then down. Do you know what I mean? It's that feeling from there. But then that does 
but it drops everything Obviously. in place. So if from there your first movement is the that goes up, yeah, yeah. everything has to sequence into place. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But that's still turning. Because your posture is like this. Yeah. You know, if I'm stood up that way, turning is doing that movement. Um, but that uh, movement, so that right shoulder now looks level to my left, which it is because I'm in an upright position. But yeah. now if I go into my postural position from there, my right shoulder is higher. Yeah. So now I'm not trying to get the, get them level to the ground. So it's there. And then as I sort of turn through the ball to that position into posture, my left shoulder is higher. Yeah. I've sort of rotated, but I've rotated around that angle at 90 degrees from my spine, rather than then trying to get it working to the ground, like parallel to the ground. Do you know what I mean? So it's yeah, yeah. that movement rather than sort of that movement. I'm happy with that. Because yeah. you can practice that all day long. You can feel that snatch. So it's that snatch it's so from just, the top, it's the snatch up. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. That, that's what I'm feeling more so. It's there you go, there you go. Me. And then you can only but come underneath. Yeah, yeah. You get it? The, honestly, I might, I might look thick, but it's no, giving no, in. The, yeah, uh, no, so, that's... making sure that's really open. open. Yeah. And then just, as me down swing, that, like you said, the first thing is that eight, yeah. making sure and that goes up. And then everything else goes into place. Yeah. It's like a sequence of movement from that, from that point. So it's there, so I'm at the top, and my hands are there, and the first move is left shoulder. Yeah. Get up. That's fucking nice, yeah. that is. Yeah, yeah. I've never thought of that. And plus, if my shoulder is. Oh, one oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Well, Do you have to do that one? Yeah, I might be that one. Because <laughs> I'll jinx it. No, because now that's making loads of sense. Because if I'm hitting down, yeah. and then I'm trying, like you said, with my pelvics popping, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I'm doing this, yeah. I'm doing that, are you? Yeah, exactly. Where for if I'm just swinging down, making sure that shoulder does okay. go up. So you're basically, in essence, opening your chest up. Yeah, yeah. So when I'm sort of here, it's all tightening in. Yeah. Whereas from that top position, as I start down, it's almost like that left shoulder opens my chest up. So it opens up my body. Fucking hell, that's, that's so weird. It's yeah. not easy, I'm going to fuck It's not easy because but it's just not what that you know. Make if, sense. I, if, I can, if I can transition. <laughs> well, you can normally get a gist with people, call yeah. Like face to face, get like the reactions yeah, yeah. and if if they're feeling it or not. Yeah. I'll make sure them feet are out, but that shoulder's got to go out. Yeah. Just turn and then open the shoulder up. Left shoulder up. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Lost him. That's and then all we've got to try and then transition from that feeling, once we can get that feeling of that, is then getting the hands to square up, but that's, that's, yeah. that's down the line, you know what I mean? You've got to get that, that for me, the positive of that was the ball didn't start left. Yeah. So whereas when I'm making my bad movements, coming severely out the top, the ball's starting really left. Yeah, and that's then zipping. started right, and then yeah. moved right, which means, yes, I still had an open face, but it turns out the face, the path is more closer to target. Yeah. But otherwise, if the path is severely left to target, the open face, then you'll see a big size. So that was yeah, more, yeah. more like a push fade, really. So you know, it wasn't like over, massively over the top. So, your hands will start reacting eventually. You're just going to let that happen. Yeah, just make sure that the feet up and shut down. Uh, you can get that aiming straight at trees, then. These so, trees. Right hand trees. Yeah. Come around a bit more. That's better. So that's more down the middle. You know, it feels like I'm way left. Yeah, so what you got to appreciate is parallel lines. So, yeah. um, you know, what might feel like it's aiming down the trees on the left, Yeah. your swing path here, which is parallel to your feet, isn't going to be. So the ball doesn't go down the line of the feet, the ball goes down this, what we call the ball to target line. Yeah. So your feet should always be in line left. So if you imagine your train tracks, Yeah. the right hand train track is your, your ball to target line, so your desired swing path, front phase aim. Yeah. And then your body aim is parallel to that. But the only one that's ever at the target is the club head. Okay. So in essence, if, 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 if that was that ball now, the line of the ball is down the middle of the fairway, which it is. Yeah. Right? Your feet should be in line with that, not parallel to it. And all you've got to know is swing through that ball line. That's that. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that next. Because yeah. before, how I feel now is that I'm aiming towards them little trees there. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But you see, the wider the club, the more parallel, the more in line you are. Yeah, yeah. So in essence, you, your feet are actually 
probably just right to that foot, right where them blokes are now. Yeah. But then your parallel swing line, which is here, yeah. is more just left edge of the foot, just inside the left side of centre. Okay. So arguably, the first one, because I didn't check it, you could have been aiming right, yeah. but you've only just had a slight fade. But what we don't... Your fault. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I didn't double check it. So it's just that feeling of yeah. aiming... If I'm aiming left, I'm more likely to swing, um, swing right. Would you use a six iron now? Because there's that ump, or would yeah. you stick... Yeah, go six. So your feet want to be just inside the left bunker. Yeah. Like just right side of that left bunker. It's probably a bit much that is. A bit less. Go on, keep coming round. That's perfect that is. Look at that shoulder moves. Yeah, first movement is up. Not quite, see how the divot's gone. Yeah, it's back to I've snatched it again, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to fucking whack it. Yeah. I've got one. Yeah. Fuck. It's almost on this next one. Pause at the top. Yeah. And then pull up. So have a little pause at the top. And then hit the ball from that pause position. But your first move is to go to the top, pause, and then up with the left arm, let the club drop. And work on that feeling of going there. under, yeah. You know I mean? You've got to just transition. Are we blocking these or something? So, come on. Deliver it from underneath. That's better. That's the swing. I bet you they record that. I did. <laughs> oh, oh magic. <laughs> 